Hi guys, welcome back to the channel. Today we are going to talk about Masterbooks and specifically Masterbooks math. So if you have been interested in seeing what the inside of Masterbooks math curriculum looks like, you're in luck. Today you're going to get a look through the Masterbooks level 3 math curriculum. you are new here, welcome back. My name is Lisa. On this channel, we talk about all things homeschool, family life, and a few added grocery hauls slash shopping hauls because who doesn't love those? Also, this is just, this is how I look in a typical daily homeschool day. I am not all dolled up with makeup and my hair done and cute clothes on. I am very much just in a t-shirt and no makeup and my hair is a mess and, and it's fine, you guys. You're not alone if you are the same as me. Just know you're not alone. And I'm on camera doing this. <laughs> okay, so today, like I mentioned, we are gonna do a flip through of the Masterbooks math. Some of you guys have requested this and I was happy to oblige uh, because I'm always interested in seeing what a curriculum is gonna look like before I'm spending, you know, a lot of money on it because curriculum can be really expensive and I'm sorry if you hear my dog in the background crying because the kid's lunch, crying, whining, because the kid's lunch is on the table and he wants it. <laughs> I'm gonna flip the camera around and I'm gonna show you guys exactly what it looks like inside the curriculum because like I said, you don't wanna spend all this money and then look through it when you finally get it home and think, this is not what I thought it was gonna be. This is not gonna work for our family. Or maybe you're looking for something new and you're wondering if maybe that's gonna work for your child because as we know, all kids learn differently. All kids have different learning styles and so you know, one thing that works for your kid might not work for mine and vice versa. So these are always super helpful. I love watching them from other channels because it gives me a sense of if it might work for my kiddo or not. So I'm happy to show you today. Let's look at Masterbooks math level. Okay, so like I said, this is Masterbooks curriculum math level three, lessons for living education. So it comes with this really cute little parrot. And what I really like about Masterbooks is it's very open and go. And so a lot of times we really enjoy taking our stuff to the park, getting a a lesson in or two. Um, we really enjoy just being able to kind of throw our books in our bags and head out. There's no extra manipulatives with this. There's no extra, you know, pieces. There's no videos that we use. If your kiddo does better with those things, then maybe this isn't the best option for them. But if you're somebody that's like, I just want something kind of that we can just take with us because we're on the go a lot, then this will be great for your family. The first thing that you're going to open to is the scope and sequence. And so it gives you some ideas on how to use this. It gives you a schedule if you're someone that likes to really stick to um, a schedule in your homeschool. And then lessons all on the first page here that show you what you're going to be covering in all of the 36 lessons. I did say there were no manipulatives with this. And when I think of manipulatives, I'm thinking like the blocks that maybe, you know, or the manipulatives that come with Matthew C or um, the good and the beautiful. This does have a section for manipula manipulatives. Say that three times fast. Um, however, it is super simple. They're like little houses. I will show you in a minute here. Um, they're houses that you cut out and just glue to, you know, some cardstock. It's it's nothing crazy. You can see that they're reviewing place values, odds and evens. They're talking about money. Um, reviewing addition and subtraction, measurement fractions, thermometers, and then they start to get into multiplication in level three here. Um, and so my daughter is very excited about that. She very much wants to know multiplication and division like her older brother. <laughs> so she's super excited for that. Um, and then you can see in the later lessons, they're talking about Roman numerals. Um, and then lesson 31 to 36 is all review, which is really nice. It's kind of rounding out your year and kind of wrapping it all up and making sure that they have mastered all of these concepts. So um, this will also tell you here, it can be done approximately 30 minutes per lesson, five days a week for 36 weeks. I will tell you right now, 
typically does not take my daughter 30 minutes per lesson. It is maybe 15, 20 at the most. Um, so don't let that scare you if you think, oh my goodness, 30 lessons, my kid will never be able to sit through that. Truly, it's, it's not 30 minutes. Um, and then they give you a course description here. The objectives, if that's something that you need for your um, portfolio, they have all the objectives of the course right here. And then it talks all about how to teach teaching mathematics as a living subject, um, which is something that I really like here, is that Masterbooks really ties in mathematics into your real world situations. So there's recipes in here to bake with your child when you're using fractions and addition and subtraction. Um, there are little craft projects that they're using their mathematical skills during the arts and crafts project. It's really just, it's worked really well for our family. Then here you have the first, the daily schedule, like I mentioned. And so let me see, I'll try to zoom in so you can see. Okay, so just talking about week four as an example here. They have day 16, day 17, day 18, day 19, and day 20. So your five days of the week. And then it tells you which lesson to complete, which lesson you're on, and then the exercise to complete as well as the page number. They also have little, um, if this is what you want to keep to show your daily schedule, this is what you can do as well. And so then they have little boxes over here for you to check to make sure that you're on track for a due date, if you have a child that works more independently and doesn't need your help as much, and then you can check it off and you can assign them a grade if that is something that you need or you like to do. It does do that through all of the 36 lessons for you. Okay, and then we get to, this is lesson one. So then each of the lessons, this is a curriculum that has a biblical worldview. Just FYI, if you are somebody that is looking for something that is not faith-based curriculum, this is probably not going to be the best choice for you. We do enjoy having a lot of our curriculum be faith-based and looking at it through the lens of a biblical worldview. And so that's why this master books curriculum really works for our family. So each lesson has a short story in the beginning that you can read to your child or you can read together. Um, they're very sweet little stories and they, they always intertwine what you're going to be talking about in each lesson. So for lesson one, it is review of place value, odds and evens, counting by twos, fives, and tens. And so that will speak, this will be talked about in the story. And so it kind of just gives the child a little bit of a heads up of what they're going to be learning about in each lesson. We skip this, as you can see, <laughs> but at the top, they have exercise one and then day one. And so it's really helpful for my kiddo to see, they always look at exercise one. Okay, this is the page I have to do today versus tomorrow, exercise two, day two. And so she knows when she opens this, this is, and she looks at the page, okay, this is what I have to complete today. Just the next day's number. Um, and so she here she was just reviewing evens and odds and then counting um, and some copy work. And same for day three. She did the same thing, just up to 200. Um, I do enjoy also that in here they use a lot of like coloring and things with like markers or crayons because my daughter is very creative and she enjoys coloring and drawing. And so this works really well for her because she gets to do that in her math. So then you can see again, this is lesson two. And again, um, this short story here before moving on. Again, the short story. So it's just like a little warm up to the lesson coming up. And so then here she just reviewed, again, exercise one. She knows this is all she has to do today is whatever says number one. So she worked on um, just telling time here. And so it's not, like I said, it's not overwhelming. It, it does not take her 30 minutes a lesson. Um, now I feel like if she's mastered something really well, like I may skip a page here was a lot of review. So from, um, last year's learning. And so I just wanted to make sure that she still remembered all of this information. So we did do all this and then she, you know, she gave herself a little A plus at the bottom here. <laughs> 
But if I feel like she's really mastered a concept, I don't feel pressured to do every single page just to say that we've completed it. So if you feel like this is maybe a little too basic for your third grader, then maybe bump up to level four. But I will flip to the back here and show you. There is also the solutions manual in the back, which I really enjoy just to double check because, you know, I'm human and sometimes I make mistakes. And so it's just nice to have something to refer back to, to make sure I'm not giving her false information, right? And so each lesson has its own solutions manual here. So if you ever feel like I am not smart enough to teach my child mathematics, don't worry. They give you the answers. <laughs> Okay, so this is the manipulatives section that I talked about where it is, okay, so hold on, before we do that, here's a great example of using it in uh, real world situations. So here at the very end, they have her making pumpkin fritters. I don't even know how to pronounce that, but uh, pure, uh, I don't, yeah, I don't know. <laughs> Pumpkin fritters, that's what we're going to call them. Um, and so she is going to get in the kitchen and she's going to um, make these all mostly all by herself. I will be there to support her, but um, I pretty much want to see that she's able to do all of these things and understand what a fourth of a cup of water is, what two tablespoons of sugar is, what, you know, a half a teaspoon of salt, four cups of flour, that sort of thing. So it is not like we're just going to do math and then that's it, you know she's able to apply it to real life situations. Okay, so this is the um, page for the manipulatives. And so you can see there's a place value village, they call it a place value village counting map, a hundreds counter, the my 100s chart, multiplication facts for copywork, division facts for copywork, and then a multiplication chart. Okay, and so these are the little um, place value villages that she will cut out and then we can just paste them to some paper and then laminate them if I want to. We did do this last year and um, it was semi helpful, I would say. I think it just all depends on how your kiddo is, their style of learning. If you feel like this is something that would really be helpful for them, then great, they can do it. If not, then, you know, obviously skip it. The hundreds house here, same thing. The thousands house. And then she has a value counting mat. So if she has like 3,215, you know, she can put 3215 to just understand where each number um, is going to be listed in their place. These are the hundreds counters. Again, cut out and laminate if you want to. And then this is just copy work for her that she can do. But this is like really all that they have for manipulatives. It's very simple, very easy. Yeah, it's, it's not a lot, which is what I really enjoy in a math. And then that's it, you guys. That's basically the entire curriculum. Okay, so that's the flip through. If you have any questions, be sure to leave them down in the comments below. I'm happy to answer to the best of my knowledge. I, like I said, this is our third year homeschooling. So this is all, I'm still very much learning how things go. So, okay guys, that's it for today. If you have any questions or there's another curriculum that you've seen in my fifth grade or third grade curriculum picks that you wanna see a flip through of, be sure to tell me down in the comments below. All right guys, until next time, I'll see you later.